We need a, some stickers or a piece of tape. Anyone have a sticker? A gentrification sticker? Any stickers? This is the 21 Doors Condo Project. In 2008, this building was evicted by the then owner, Robert Wilson. It used to be the home to low-income families and low-income singles. Those people were evicted in order to let the building be flipped and sold to the salient group and Robert Fung. The building has stood empty since 2008. Sitting on this corner, on, his, on, on the border of Gastown and Central Downtown East Side. To the north, is the symbol of gentrification in the downtown east side. It's for you, sweetheart. High-end cafes, condo projects, lofts for high-income people, boutiques, and restaurants that exclude low-income people. These spaces create street climates where that are highly policed, where private security guards patrol to push people who live in SRO hotels in this street off the block. It's a regular routine for low-income people who live in the Rainier Hotel or who live in the Glory Rooms or who live around the corner in the Colonial or the Gas Town to leave their homes and run for Hastings Street to avoid the harassment of the occupying army of police and security guards. Gentrification creates public spaces that are exclusively the property of higher-income people. And this site here, 21 Doors, which is a... All the condos here are at least a quarter million dollars. Even the one that is only 324 square feet. Even the one that used to be an SRO. The real estate market in this city is so vicious that this building sold, this building sold almost immediately upon being put up on the market. We cannot trust the existing low-income housing in the downtown east side to this rapacious real estate market. The city of Vancouver and the province have to take steps to protect this low-income housing that's still existing and to stop the spread of these gentrifying condo projects. This site is important because right behind you is Pigeon Park. And since June of 2010, the downtown east side neighborhood council has supported street vendors to set up a street market there on that site every single Sunday now for a year and a half. Weekly now, more than 200 vendors come and set up their wares here. Some of those vendors, like Tracy, who's a weekly vendor, has said that she doesn't make very much money, but that she depends on the market for her friendship networks. She depends on it for her community, for a place to check in and to feel like she's part of a community. And this site has received more complaints since this condo project finished than it had ever received in the year and a half previous. The owner of this project, the developer Robert Fung, did not tell people moving in that there is a street market here for low-income people every week. And when people asked, they said, oh, there's a cop moving in, and he's going to make sure that place is gone. We're here today to issue a notice of eviction. It reads, to all owners and tenants of 21 Doors, we, the residents of the downtown east side, regret to inform you that your condo development project has been denied a permit for the, from the downtown east side community. This development further displaces, impoverishes, and polices residents of the downtown east side and makes people feel more unwelcome in their own neighborhood. Your property is being repossessed for the purposes of 100% resident control and affordable social housing, which is far more critical and life-saving than developers making millions in profits. Today, December 1st, is the supposed move-in day for these residents of this place. 
and we want to tell them that they are not, their project is not welcome here. And we hope that they recognize the assets of this low-income community are delicate and tenuous and precious, and they should never call the police to ask poor people to be to chased off this block. Yeah. They should never, they should never call the city and ask for low-income people or projects to be reformed for their comforts as property owners here. We're bringing them a gift basket as they enter this community. Some of it, Welcome, this Mike. is our notice of eviction. Right. Some of the things in the gift basket are things that they need to know in order to come into the community. So we have an information leaflet on what gentrification is <laughs> that explains how low income spaces are being, uh, are being destroyed by gentrification. And we have, what is this one? Lots of room in Surrey, is it? <laughs> no low-income housing in Surrey either. This is information about the about the annual Missing and Murder Women's Memorial March, and this is a and this is a leaflet welcoming them to come and down and support the street market. And finally, so that they know what they're up against, we have a couple of roach motels full of cockroaches. 